Across the sparkling waters of the dock where a giant prepared for sea, family bonds drew the generations together to remember a long shadow cast across a day of celebration. Titanic's physical presence was more than enough to excite the population of Southampton. 500 people, most of them locally recruited crew members, had crowded the gangways leading from the White Star Terminal. Today, family members exchange stories of that spring morning and of the disaster which overtook ship, passengers and crew. As far as we know, he was a, a boot steward and um, he was one of the survivors, um, was in charge of lifeboat five and we believe from the records that we've got that he actually saved somebody's life as well. Very, very important, although I never knew my grandfather because he died six years before I was born. I just feel that what happened that night to him and to so many others, um, I have a connection and, and I just want to be there for him really. Just the whole thing just gets to you, you know, and you remember things your grandmother told you and it all comes back to me as if I was there. Southampton was deeply traumatized by the appalling news from the Atlantic. Crowds pressed around the White Star Line headquarters where impromptu notice boards displayed the names of the lost. Today the hubbub of a busy port was stilled as this community with the pilgrims from every corner of the UK bowed their heads in remembrance. Silence broken by a sound which has not been heard since it echoed across the rooftops a century ago as Titanic said her farewell. From around the sprawling docks came the response as one by one the visitors laid their tributes and looked back to that departure. On Southampton water, the tug Calshot, a survivor from that era, led a flotilla away from birth 44. Titanic's loss is forever a painful part of this city's history. Families will return home knowing the story is still being told.